always talked about how natural it was, you know, that mothering became very natural and they were handed this brand new baby and at the birth and that they fell in love with that baby or they thought about it beforehand and were just, they had this name and this, this whole human life was coming to them and I didn't feel that. I didn't feel that at all. It was very unnatural for me and to have this thing growing inside me was weird. It was odd. It was, it didn't, I didn't feel a connection to it, to it. I really felt that way. Like I'm using those words because that's how I felt at the time. She was born and it was uh, a pretty exhausting and traumatic birth for me. And uh, they laid her on me and my, I was just so exhausted that I felt, I just remember saying, can someone, she's slipping. Can someone come, can someone take her? She's going to fall. You know, like that's, I was just so, and I just was like, get, get her, get her off me. Like that's how I felt, which is so sad. <laughs> I don't feel right. that way now. Well, um, and those hormones and everything else just are affect us and they're real. So whether it's hormonal or whether it's just my mind, whatever it is, that was my reality in that moment. We had really hard time nursing and feeding her. She, uh, was not gaining weight. She was very tiny and she cried all the time and I was exhausted and I totally had postpartum depression. Absolutely. And, um, I don't want to talk about how bad it was because there's really a darkness to depression. Anyone who has been depressed understands the dark thoughts that are in there. And I, I choose not to dwell on them. I don't want to, like, I, I will talk when I need to. I'll talk to a therapist when I, when I need to, but I'm doing well. I don't need to, I don't need a therapy session at this moment. So I don't want to go back to those. Um, so if you've ever been in a depressed state, whatever level that is, however that is for you, I'm sure you can just take that on in your own mind. This is how I dealt with that. Um, so what happened is I remember uh, a couple months in, three months in, I just remember looking at my precious baby and thinking, I'm so sorry you have me as a mother. I'm so sorry you got me. This stinks for you. And just apologizing to her and feeling like, well, I'm never doing this again because I'm never gonna do this to another human being. I'm <laughs> obviously this is, I didn't stay that way because I have five <laughs> kids now. And so, but in that moment, this is very real that I was like, I'm never having another child. I'm never gonna do this again. I wouldn't do that to another person. That's how I felt. And uh, we'll just get through the 18 years that you gotta be with me. I'm sorry, we'll, I'll, we'll just do it we'll do the best we can. I didn't feel connection to her. I didn't feel bonded with her. Um, and that depression was very real and very strong. And I remember I was studying one day. I was learning about God's plan for us. And we know that we know what God's plan is for us. His plan is that we were somewhere before we came here. We were with him, taught us. We came here to learn, to be tried, to be tested, to gain a body. And then we want to receive exaltation, right? To be in the celestial kingdom, and become like our Heavenly Father. And I thought to myself, what do, if we're to become like our Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother, what are they doing? What is my eternity look like? And I realized our Heavenly Father and our Heavenly Mother are spending their eternity creating, creating us, creating worlds for us, and that is their glory and that is their joy. That is their work and their glory is us. And all of a sudden it clicked in my head. Oh my gosh. Exaltation is eternal parenthood. And I hate this. That's a revelation. Yeah, it was a pretty big deal. And I thought to myself, if I don't love it here, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to love it there. Why would I want exaltation? So I began to pray because I did have faith and I did believe in God and I had goodly parents who taught me and I trusted him. And I knew that he had told them, he told us, God has taught us, you want exaltation. He's telling us, you want this. I have this gift joy. for me that this is, this is going to bring you joy. I promise you this is going to make you happy. And I'm going, really? Okay. If you say so, then help me out here. If I want this and I'm working towards that, then help me want this. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I learned, oh my gosh, this is my divine nature. That was the eternal truth that I learned was my divine nature is eternal motherhood. Whether you can have kids or not have kids, your divine nature, your divinity is to be a parent. 
in this life or in the life hereafter for eternity. That's what we're doing. And I, uh, that was an eternal truth that I learned through that trial that God had given me. And it became a powerhouse to me. Um, because Obviously. It went, <laughs> well, it went from something that I was dreading and hated and felt completely unnatural doing to studying and learning and trying and begging God sometimes and praying and working towards this and getting help mentally, getting support from family and sisters and bishops. And this was, so I put this whole support system in place for myself and self care and working on these things because it does take all of it. I don't think there's any amount of prayer alone that can make depression go away. It doesn't work that way. Um, well, and and what you just described, God took your weakness and made it a strength. Absolutely, and it doesn't. It wasn't quick. It wasn't like overnight. I said a prayer or got a blessing, and God's like, "All right, done. Check. You are all better." It doesn't work that way. It took months, years. But I'll tell you, when we chose, but I did. I I felt that I gained that desire to be a mother, and um, I wanted to have another and we had another one on purpose and it was night and day difference and I went from get her off of me to the next one was born and I said to my husband in that moment oh my gosh can we do this again I did I know so I mean we're talking and I literally said that in the birthing room <laughs> to, to go from one to the other is a miracle that is the atonement working in our lives. You were transformed. I tra absolutely transformed. And um, I looked at her and I, it was, it was mind blowing. Oh my gosh, the more you have, the more your love grows. I get it. You don't split your love between your children. You just get more love to give. That's how it works. And I just felt that instantly when she was born that everyone describes, they hand them to and you're like in love. I felt that it was great. It was, it was wonderful. And then the others have all, were never that strong after that, but they were, they were definitely a bond and, and wanting them and desire for motherhood.